everybody so in this video I'm gonna show you how to set up your welcome series flow in Clavio and for those of you that don't know a a flow in Clavio is basically just a, a series an automated series of emails that gets kicked off when a user on your site performs some action that triggers the series and the welcome series is basically just when somebody joins your newsletter list so they've either filled out their info on a pop-up form or they have filled it out on an embedded form somewhere on your site or you've even just manually added someone to your list or imported a list of people to your newsletter list and that will kick off the welcome series flow which is a series of emails and I'm gonna show you how to set it up right now so Right now we're logged in to Clavio. This is the dashboard. <clears throat> when you go through the setup wizard for Clavio, you'll see if you click on lists over here, Clavio creates some default uh, lists and segments. And the, the main list is almost always newsletter. They create this by default. You see here it says list. Um, and then the only other list is this preview list, which is used kind of just to preview your emails as you build them out. They create that by default. Um, and then the rest of these you see are segments. These are, you know, dynamic segments that uh, they've created, kind of some basic ones um, that are just uh, segments of your profiles that, that are um, live in your account right now. So... You can see you can even see the definitions of these segments. So this is the unengaged segment. So these are people that aren't engaged with your list. Really, you'll see they've opened emails zero times. They've clicked on emails zero times in 90 days. So they're not engaged with your content. And then here's the opposite: engaged. They've opened or clicked within 90 days. So these are all defaults. Um, they're kind of nice to have and get started with but it's a good idea to edit those and add your own. I'll show you how to do that in other videos. Right now we're just concerned with this newsletter list because uh, this is the list we're going to use for our welcome series. When someone gets added to this list it'll kick off our welcome series. And the flows are under here. You click on flows and just like Clavio does with the list it also creates some default flows for you kind of the most used ones. Uh, popular ones are the abandoned cart, the welcome series, these customer thank yous, so after someone's placed an order. These are all great flows, and I'm gonna make videos on all of them, but the one we're talking about right now is welcome series. And you can see it says select a list to trigger your welcome series, so it's not set up yet. Also, uh, they're all orange, means they're manual means they're not automatic. They won't automatically start working right when you create your account. You have to set them to live. Right now they're manual. So we're gonna edit this one. You can just click on it. And it'll ask you, uh, choose the list you wanna use for this welcome series. We want the newsletter one. Continue. Uh, welcome to flows. I'm just gonna close that. And here's the flow builder that Clavio gives you. And this is kind of some default settings as well. It's got the trigger. So when someone subscribes to your newsletter list, you can click on this. It'll give you some details over here about it. And then the first email goes out right away. It's the welcome series. It says, thanks for signing up. This is, this is just the box for the logic here, but you can click on this and preview this email. This is what it looks like. It's pretty basic really basic actually you got to um, you got to edit yours for your branding and your messaging and uh, I'm not going to go into editing the the emails in this video because you, you want to customize that for your own brand and your own strategy because uh, different companies will do different things with their welcome series you want to think yours through uh, with your customers in mind uh, but you would just edit it right here and that'll edit the email I'm just going to talk about the actual flow setup. So, first email goes off right away, and what's uh, it's a, it's really popular to incentivize people to join your list. So most of the time, someone you'll have like sign up and get a coupon code. This is the email where you'd do that, right? They'd send that you'd send that coupon code. Clavio has a great way of doing it. 
so you can send dynamic codes as well and then it waits three days before it does something this is just a default one you can click on this this box here and change this even to one day and I generally like to do that I like to actually build these flows out I can even end up putting seven eight 10, 15 emails in the welcome series because uh, you really want to give it some thought here. Like this next one is follow us on social media. So that's a good idea to try that one. You could, you know, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook. You can even integrate your, your Instagram feed into Klaviyo emails. I also like to do a giveaway on my Instagram pages. So I'll mention that in this email. Like, hey, we, we give away such and such every month. Uh, all you got to do is follow us do that here and then this says four days you know they send the next email but you can change that as well just change that to one day or two days whatever you want to do check out our best sellers is a good option send them a couple of uh, your best sellers Clavio even has a little block in the in the email builder that will automatically insert your best sellers now once you get here you want to add another one you just grab this time delay drag it here and set it for whatever you want we'll just do one day and then drag another email and you can just keep it going here and this isn't really the subject line of the email this is just for this uh, keeping track of these blocks here but this could be something like uh, check out our our reviews so you can I like to do this one Oops, this is going into the actual building of the email now. <clears throat> uh, but check out our reviews. I like to, you know, send some five-star reviews of past customers just to kind of give them peace of mind. Maybe push them over the edge on actually making a purchase. And then you can just keep on going. You could go another time delay, one day. And then uh, something else I usually end up doing at the end of the flow. So we'll wait. And you can change all these two. I just set them to one day. This could be one day, two days, three days. You could stretch this thing out over a month, two months if you wanted to. But if you do send a coupon out in your initial email, you can come down here at the very end of this welcome series flow, put a delay, and then put a conditional split here after that last delay come over here and select a condition uh, what someone has done and choose a metric so we've got Shopify integrated so we can say placed an order at least once since starting this flow and save that so now if they've placed an order if and basically it what that means is if they've used this coupon that we sent them or maybe they forgot the coupon still if they place an order you know we'll send you know we'll we'll just end we'll just end the flow there if they haven't we'll send them another email and tell them and remind them right so uh, coupon reminder hey your coupon is uh, about to expire maybe you actually send this welcome series 28 days well, that actually would be you know, one, two, three, four. So maybe we send it 20 days later and we send and we make the coupon code expire in 30 days. And then in this coupon, this email, we'd say, hey, your coupon's going to expire in four days or 48 hours or whatever it is. And uh, that's a great way to kind of last ditch effort to get them to convert on that coupon code. But this is one, two, three, four, five emails. And there's a lot of other ways you can do this as long as you do it smart, uh, the smart way. You could send um, an email that's like about your company, just some more information about your company. Uh, you could send information about your founder of your company. Um, a lot of brands nowadays are giving back with certain charities if you work that in. Uh, you could send an email that's asking them to fill out their preferences, you know, how often they want to receive emails or what products they're interested in. 
you can put a survey in here about products you could um, do the Instagram you know social that's a great one but uh, a lot of options here and uh, and you don't have to just limit it to like a oh thanks for signing up email you know whatever <laughs> but once they get to the end of that series uh, they'll fall out of this and you want to make sure you've got uh, the other flows set up so I'm gonna make some videos on those other flows as well so thanks for watching